All right. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from KHX Nation. And in today's video, we are going over the latest sync par, sync par, sync pair in the game, which is Lance and his Dragon Knight. I am super stoked for this, just because of the fact of how incredibly busted Dragonite is. Now, if you aren't aware of it already, I'll be having uh, another video coming out, hopefully today, but maybe like within the next day or two, uh, going over some leaks that recently happened in the Pokemon Masters kind of community. Uh, if you're not aware, basically through data mining, uh, somebody was able to find out and they posted in a Reddit post and it's already been shared on Game Press website explaining all of the new sync pair units we'll be receiving basically within the next month or so okay um and there's like what like four or five new pokemon that we basically know almost everything about and dragonite was one of them and lo and behold we have dragonite now uh it's also and i would say in a nutshell the two main pokemon to look out for for this next month or so among the sync pairs that come out are Dragonite itself, as we have right now, and Typhlosion. Those are the two main ones that I kind of uh, would prioritize in terms of pulling for, just because of how really good they are. The other two or three are okay, not not the greatest though, so I wouldn't really consider them nearly as much, in my opinion. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and go over Dragonite. I also, during some time in the video, will actually show a little bit of gameplay of Dragonite himself too, just because of how incredibly busted you can, like, you can ab completely abuse Dragonite if you have the right type of Pokemon to form a team with them, okay? Um, anyways, let's go on. Let's actually go ahead and take a look at his abilities, his stats and such. So, obviously, he's a Dragon-type Pokemon. He's weak to ice. He's a... Ah. He's a striker Pokemon. Let's look at his max stats. He is five star, obviously. HP 516, attack 403, defense 159, special attack 402. That's pretty high. Special defense 160, speed 241. Knows the moves Dragon Claw. Uh, two costs two gauges is a physical hit. It has 60 power, 100 accuracy, targets one opponent, no additional effects. Knows the move Potion, which should already know because of our Pikachu that you get just from doing in the game. It just restores an ally's HP, which is actually super relevant for Dragonite. Also knows the move Hyper Beam, which is by far his best move. Costs four gauges, is the highest costing attack move in the entire game right now. Uh, four gauges though, it's a special attack type of attack. Has 267 power. My lord, let me turn off all these notifications. <laughs> 267 power though. That is basically just as good, if not very close to that of how strong a sync move is. Okay, just take a look at the sync move at level 5. Okay, with a sync move at level 5, Dragonite's power for his sync move is at 300. Hyper Beam is at 267. That's ridiculous, okay? Um, accuracy of 90 for Hyper Beam. Targets one opponent, has no additional effects. Also knows the move Now or Never, which is a trainer move. Increases the user's move gauge by six. So basically just fully caps out your entire move gauge. The user takes damage equal to half of its remaining HP. Okay, now, the now or never ability is kind of partially the main reason why you have potion in my opinion uh because basically what you would do is you would use now or never then you would use potion on yourself um and then use hyper beam or you know some combination of the two now or never hyper beam potion basically you need to use potion sometime after you use now or never just because of how much hp you actually use uh or take up now for any of you wondering well like i would never want to do this because of the fact that like that's just that's just too risky um it's yes or no it has pros or cons um and the main con being that of course if you use it like when dragon is at full hp then yeah that's kind of a big risk the the main reason or the main moment in which you would actually want to use the now or never okay is strictly when you already have like less than half hp okay so like when the enemy has like done a few moves on you hits you a few times maybe has done a sync move or two on you 
uh, you're already pretty a low on HP. That's when you use now or never, okay? In a way, think of it as like a, a last resort type move. You use it when you're already close to dying because of the fact that you already have so little HP, you're not gonna really lose much else when you uh, when you use now or never at that moment, okay? If I have 25% HP, I'm gonna lose only like, let's see, if I have 50 HP, okay? What's my max? Si 560, okay? If I have 50 HP, I'm only gonna lose 25. I'm gonna get one shot regardless if I'm at 50 or at 25, like, <laughs> might as well use now or never, go, uh, go out with a bang. Like, that's the type of thing that uh, you would want to use now or never for. It's more of like a last, last resort type thing rather than something you bust out from the get-go all right so that's the main thing you have to keep in mind in terms of now or never his passive skills are dragon shift turns normal type moves become dragon type moves essentially turns hyper beam into a dragon move uh knows lith prevents the pokemon from getting paralyzed and unflappable prevents the pokemon from flinching all right lith is okay i haven't really seen too many instances of like the enemy paralyzing like like inflicting any sort of paralysis on on pokemon uh very much so i mean who knows maybe that becomes relevant in the future but at least right now it's not really that big of a deal unflappable is actually pretty decent just because of the fact that uh the enemy pokemon will tend to cause you to flinch every once in a while so and you're just kind of lifts you're just kind of stuck sitting there just absolutely pointless you can't really do anything so that's actually part kind of relevant and dragon shift that's kind of like a bonus it just helps make it so you can actually guarantee do super effective damage against enemies that are weak to dragon of course um if it stays as a normal move it won't gain the super effective bonus but it won't you know be weak to anything either just because of how destructive hyper beam is in the first place um, so it's just more of a plus than anything else so overall the biggest takeaway about Dragonite is that he's by far one of the biggest powerhouses in the game, okay? Now, right now, uh, I will state that obviously because of the fact that Hyper Beam costs four gauges, this does mean that you would need to have at least one or two Pokemon on your team who can focus on trying to speed up and increase your move gauge as quickly as possible, okay? so. Basically, uh, what type of Pokemon fit this cri uh, criteria or this category are any type of Pokemon that A, increase your speed, preferably your entire party's speed, or B, Delibird, uh, which has the newest, not only does Delibird increase your entire party's speed, but also has the newest mechanic where it actually inherently increases the passive regeneration rate of the move gauge itself okay so increase the speed and uh and does that at the exact same time uh let me go ahead and show you deli bird go to my decks i was so happy i got i actually got deli bird fairly recently i got on like my last poll of the whole christmas event or whatever so i was pretty happy with that so max stats okay so this is deli bird uh just as a recap for anybody who didn't check out my uh, Deli Bird video when she when it got first showcased. Essentially, Deli Bird. The main thing to keep note of about Deli Bird is the all the presence ability. This is his most busted move. His other moves are are good, they're decent, but they're like the main reason you want to be running Deli Bird is for the all the presence, um, because this move right here is absolutely busted. It makes her get your move gauge refill like crazy, like. Quite honestly, it's probably not an exaggeration where I would say that like Deli Bird is probably just as good as Superior right now in terms of one of the best uh, support Pokemon in the game, if not slightly better than Superior, just because of the fact that the all presence can, uh, how long you actually keep the regeneration rate far outlasts how long you can uh, still maintain the number of moves you could use if you use superiors uh uh refill gauge move whatever that's called i forget what it's called so like for example um i've had multiple teams already and i can show you guys some of this real quick in this video uh some gameplay in terms of what i'm talking about and i'll combine it with dragonite too so you get so you can see like how well they just mesh together uh but i could easily like use like a th like two Pokemon that have three gauge moves back to back to back for like easily like 10 turns in a row 
And superior could only do that maybe like four times max. Like only be able to spam it four times max between the two Pokemon. Uh, because if she can only use the refill gauge move twice. That's it. Okay. So that's that's what I'm saying. Like Delibird is absolutely busted. So if you're ever trying to create some sort of uh, highly high cost move uh, party or team, you, you kind of have to have Delibird in order to do it. Now, if you don't have Delibird, it's not the end of the world. You can still get by without it. You're probably just going to be relying on some other Pokemon as well instead in order to help make up for that. Uh, one of the other Pokemon, for example, which is great for this, is actually going to be Hilbert's Oshawa, just because Oshawa actually knows the move X Speed All. I don't remember if there are any other Pokemon at the moment. I th I, I want to say there is like. I have the like I have a gut feeling and I'm just forgetting about it that there's like maybe like one or two other Pokemon that have X speed all or have some other trainer move that's not called X speed all but also increases the entire party speed. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but I that's my gut feeling. I just don't remember off the top of my head. But Hilbert for the X speed on Hel on Hilbert on Oshawa is going to be one of those other types of alternative uh, Pokemon you could use alongside like Superior if you don't have. A deli bird uh, to help out with that okay just because of the fact as a recap speed does help refill uh, increase the rate that your move gauge increases increases so the more speed your party has the hot the faster your move gauge increases the only drawback to this is that when the enemy uses their sync move you will lose all of your stat buffs including your speed buffs okay so once that happens your move gauge is essentially gonna go back to normal rate which is partially why deli Birds kind of busted because of that inherent passive uh, regeneration rate being increased. That's not a stat buff. That's just, that inherently applies to the move gauge itself, which the opponent's sync move does not touch. So that's partially why Delibird is so good too. Anyways, that's kind of it. Uh, oh yeah, one last thing I want to point out about Dragonite himself is the fact that max level, his defense is actually pretty good. Like, he actually has some pretty chunky defense, uh, especially for a striker Pokemon, which not only makes him one of the most beefiest and, like, hard-hitting Pokemon in the game at the moment, but also just one of the tankiest. So, like, even though he can deal out a hard, like, a good chunk of, like, hard-hitting moves, he can also take a hit. Which is pretty nice, because that means he's just out on the field a lot longer, uh, which gives you more time to actually be able to try and like spam Hyper Beam as much as possible. Um, anyways, I want to show you guys before I end this video a team that I actually put together, which is actually really good. Like it's like really good, uh, which is my Deli Bird, which I kind of mentioned before. Dragonite and Oshawa. Now, notice that my team is not maxed out at 120 yet. Uh, I am I just got Dragonite, so I haven't even finished fully leveling it up for, for that matter. Uh, and, I, and I barely even touched Oshawa until literally just now, once I got Dragonite. Uh, but even at just this level alone, this team is already pretty nuts. It's, it's like absolutely nuts. And there's so much synergy that's happening right here that... I don't, like, I don't even know where to begin. I, I guess we'll just start with Delibird. Okay. It doesn't look like there's synergy at first, but once you actually, like, delve into their abilities and stuff, and uh, you have in mind, like, what order you're supposed to be using different moves and stuff, it's actually really effective. So, the main thing here with Delibird, aside from the all of presence, is uh, you want to, of course, use all the presence at the very beginning of battle in order to help restore... Uh, the move gauge as quickly as possible so that way to help you can help your Dragonite spam Hyper Beam as much as possible. Once you, the only thing you want to keep in mind though is that the all the presence ability, the passive uh, acceleration rate of the move gauge, that only lasts for a temporary amount of time and there's actually a little icon on the bottom left corner, it's like a little orange uh, like arrow icon. Uh, in the bottom left corner like underneath their Pokemon that actually tells you whether or not the move gauge passive rate increase is still being applied or not, whether or not it's still activated or active, okay? Uh, so, and it'll start blinking when it's about to tell you that it's gonna start wearing off very, very soon. Um, once it starts blinking and it's wearing off, that's when you wanna use all the presents a second time. Because as far as I'm aware, the 
move gauge acceler acceleration rate increase does not stack. So if I just like use all the presents twice in a row, the passive move gauge increase will not stack. Only the speed buffs will stack. So that's worth noting. So the best time to actually use all the presents a second time is when you notice the little orange arrow icon uh, starting to blink and disappear. So that way you can uh, obtain the uh, increased move gauge rate again and keep basically keep it lo lasting longer than expected. Another good moment to use as well is right after uh, the opponent uses a sync move on you or you know your team in general, just because in fact you will lose your speed buffs. So being able to use all the presents against you at least regain some of the speed buffs and apply the move gauge acceleration rate increase again. Uh, kind of just like brings it back up to speed to what it once was before you got hit with the sync move. So that's all the presents. Once you're done using all the presents, you start spamming X attack all and start buffing your attack as much as possible. This is mainly because of the fact that Deli Bird is, even though Deli Bird is not really a striker Pokemon, it's not really there for damage because of how fast you're going to be increasing your move gauge rate through uh, with Deli Bird and Oshawa or you know, some kind of combination of uh, maybe superior thrown in or whatever as a replacement. Uh, but, but because of how quickly you're going to be refilling your moves, you're actually going to be able to use like early ace or drill pick very often. Uh, so that's worth noting. Next up, let me go to Oshawa. Now, Oshawa is also kind of in the same boat as Deli Bird, which is the fact that at the very beginning of the game or the battle, you do want to spam X speed all. Now, Unlike Deli Bird, you can actually spam both XP doll right away just because of the fact that they do stack. Uh, and the more you can have them stack all at once, the faster your move gauge uh, refills. So after that, you want to use In This Together just to help get that last two tiers of attack boost uh, buffs for your entire team. Okay, you don't have to worry about your HP for this because of the fact that your Deli Bird alone is already going to you want to use both attack alls to get plus four tiers of attack buffs and then you just use one in this together one time to get the last two tiers to get the max cap of six tiers of attack boost uh, once you have that you can start just using aqua tail whenever you have extra move gauges available aside from that though uh you're pretty much just going to be spamming hyper beam almost the entire time with dragonite you almost quite literally almost never touch any of the other moves um, at most, maybe Dragon Claw whenever you just want to spam uh, moves. And it's nice that Dragon Claw is a physical move, so he can actually take advantage of all the plus six tier phys uh, physical attack buffs that your Oshawa and Deli Bird have been applying to your whole team. So even if Hyper Beam is not being buffed from your teammates, Dragon Claw at the very least is, okay? Um, and of course, if there's ever a situation where your Dragonite is just low on HP, uh, you can use Potion or you can use Now or Never and then Potion to at least refill the gauges quickly. Uh, now or Never is also kind of effective to use if, let's say, for example, your Deli Bird or your Oshawa happen to die or both of them happen to die. So your move gauge kind of gets reset back to normal. Um, now or Never is great to use in those low HP type moments type as well. Um, like your you're almost losing essentially and it's it's nice to help like guarantee those last extra bits of damage essentially so that's kind of the team in a nutshell and i'm pretty sure there's probably other types of teams you can do with this but at least as far as i'm aware this is the most effective team in terms of being able to abuse uh dragon knight's hyper beam as much as possible so real quick before i end the video i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys uh the team actually in action keep in mind that my team isn't at max level 120 at all whatsoever my deli bird is the highest level pokemon on my team which is at level 100 the other two are like around the 90s level, okay? We're gonna do the ultra hard level up course just to kind of give an idea. Uh, just because these are, are, are already a fairly decent difficulty. Uh, not the hardest in the game. The hardest stages in the game are all co-op, which is a completely different thing, um, which I will note. Dragonite is not that great for co-op just because of the fact that Hyper Beam does cost so many gauges and it takes a long time to refill those gauges. Unless you're playing with friends who can bring out a support Pokemon that can help you refill gauges for your entire team, 
probably are not going to want to use Dragon Knight during co-op situations nearly as much. For non-co-op situations, yeah, for sure. Use Dragon Knight, but for co-op switches, it's probably not. I forgot to mention that earlier. Anyways, let me go ahead and just show you guys this. It's going to be quick. The bat's going to be going by pretty quick, so Careful, try and keep up. up. Okay. Let's try hyper beam right here. All the presidents. X speed all. Okay, we're, we're focusing... I'm increasing the move gauge rate as much as possible. Like, watch the button. Now we're increasing our our attack buffs. Okay, I forgot to use hyper right here. X speed off. Okay, X speed off. You see how fast my move gauges were going? I can basically use my hyper beam pretty consistently. It's kind of nutty. Now, since I'm using uh, sync move with my Dragonite, I can use like some of the other moves with my Ashwa and. Deadly Bird, some of the higher cost moves. Just look how fast his move is going. It's just nuts. Okay, so now that the Wii got hit by a sync move, we can use all the presents. Since he got, it basically erased all of our buffs. We're using all the presents, restoring some of the buffs, as well as the increased move gauge. Someone's low. Allow me. Team. Come on. Oh, 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 so that should help you give an idea of like what it's supposed to be. I kind of messed up a few times, so it wasn't nearly as smooth as I <laughs> had it. If you follow me on Twitter, you probably saw a video where I literally was just spamming it nonstop. Um, but yeah, that's kind of an idea of what it's like for him, okay? I'm pretty sure that if I... I'm pretty sure there can easily be a different type of setup here. Superior is definitely going to be a little bit easier to... How should I say? Do more damage with the Hyper Beam, just because the effect Superior does have the X Special Attack all, so it will actually increase the damage that Hyper Beam does in general. So there's there's quite a few ways you could mess around with trying to abuse Dragonite. But all in all, the main thing here is that like Dragonite is just an absolute beater. He's an absolute powerhouse, very good stats, one of the best attack moves in the entire game. Um, the main drawback is that in order to actually fully utilize him, you kind of have to have uh, other support Pokemon that could make up for his weaknesses, essentially the move gauges and trying to refill his gauges as much as possible. Okay, that's the main drawback. Uh, but other than that, oh, I guess you could say another drawback as well is that he's not really that great for co-op situations, mainly just for normal single player PvE situations. But other than that, that was it for today, guys. Go ahead, let me know what your thoughts are about Dragonite in the comment section down below. I know this was a longer video than usual. Uh, stay tuned for a future video discussing the leaks that have been sent out about the future Pokemon Sync pairs for this next coming month or so. Other than that, hope you guys have a great and fantastic day. Happy holidays, by the way. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.